very good morning i am shikha commissioner commercial taxes karnataka i am very happy to share our strategy modus operandi in karnataka so uh, last year karnataka gst collection grew by 28% they are this year we are achieving clocking around 20% uh, economy has been buoyant tax collection has been buoyant and uh, as you all know gst uh, is a self assessment tax so there is lot of lot of challenges lot of evasions which are being noticed uh, we have put various strategies in place to ensure to how to mi minimize this next slide please so there are three major measures one is watchful registration we have noticed that whenever we go uh, checking the fake dealers and remove them from our network double number of registrations take place and it's very important that we check this at the registration stage itself so that later stage you know passing of, of this passing on of this fake itc doesn't take place second is smart vigilance and stringent enforcement uh in watchful registration uh the uh, registration approval based on thorough document verification and corroboration with other departmental website this is very important what we try to do our escoms electricity distribution company we have integrate we have access to their uh, data also so we try try to check whether the uh, bill address or the the details given in the bill also reflect the same name in which the registration is being taken we have also integrated with property tax details of bbmp and we also try to check mca details to ensure that uh, the correct details are filled by the uh, person who is trying to take this registration and pre registration and post registration visit is also done irrespective of aadhar whether it is uh, aadhar mandated or not uh, why we do this is and one more important uh, thing we have noticed here uh, in our state we have a practice of checking doing physical verification uh, if the registration is taken on five particular evasion prone commodities but we have seen that you know people try and have developed a new modus operandi which they take it on some uh, some some kind of innocent commodity and then later do amendment to change the commodity to the some other different commodity so that also we have uh, detected and we try to do as many physical uh, verification verification as needed and in fact this year we have increased the physical verification by four times so we have seen that more physical ver verification and uh, not only the uh, dealers are alert but also our officers get to know the area which they are uh, having the jurisdiction over very properly correctly and see that such commodities are in check and uh, there is also an in i don't know how far other states are using gst prime but karnataka under the uh, guidance and dependent on gst prime if there is an inbuilt module in gst prime to check earlier registration on the same pan so this also helps because you know once you when uh, once we cancel the registration uh, they try to take another new registration if it's on the same pan that also can be uh, detected using this gst prime module second is uh, to prevent fake registrations so prior to as you know first of may our revenue secretary government of india directed that uh, all india drive against fake registration should be taken up and prior to that itself we had detected around 1132 bogus tax payer and reverted an itc of 734 crores uh, so uh, special attention as i said is paid to the new registration and that to innovation prone commodities scrap is the major uh, evasion prone commodity in karnataka and we also have a watch on evable movement of all such registrations here if we see that a new registrant is there and suddenly there is a spike in evable so you know that how 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 can suddenly he have such a turnover that he is issuing so many evables so that is also an indication which we can check and uh, obviously i as, as i told we closely monitor in our mis review we closely monitor this auto registration i'm sure all of you would also be doing this this is also an indicator where you know the system itself approves it because there is a delay in, on um, on part of the registration authority to approve it and every lgs2 is expected to clear uh, to have a clear picture of the, the geographical area this is our focus area this financial year we are uh, you know we are asking our field officers to compulsorily visit all these new registrants 
third one is smart and targeted vigilance karnataka is one of the few states which who still do road vigilance mobile vigilance we still do after uh, after gst was introduced the uh, static check posts were abolished but we converted them into mobile uh, vigilance uh, checks and we are still doing it but we felt that you know wasting our energy in arbitrarily stopping vehicle and checking them is not yielding any result it should be a very smart and focused vigilance that's how we can best utilize our resources so towards that all uh, you know that there are very good tools in evable analytics and uh, uh, we do that especially intrastate movement of goods as well as interstate movement of goods is checked we use evable analytics and rfid based te uh, technology for penalty collection and information based vigilance which forms a useful source of identifying cases this we effectively use during the uh, elections uh, uh, this year our elections had taken place and uh, i think this was the first uh, major general election in karnataka after gst introduction of gst so this tool was eff effectively implemented uh, before that uh, these are some of the success stories based on the vigilance which we did uh, uh, this is more of physical uh, information which we got um more on analytics i'll be telling in further slide but this is uh, you know obviously all the states would have their informal informants who tell us that particular vehicle is carrying such a good and we can track it on using rfid and then find this e arm so we set up an uh, election analytics and risk management cell in our office so uh, how we can uh, i was directed by election commission to you know brief the states who are going for election on this tool so that um, effective ch check on the bogus or oh, sorry on the distribution of freebies can be done using this so we had set up this election analytic and risk management cell during state election this was created in department and focus analytics on election freebies was conducted at our ed office so what we do is as you know evable analytics also has something called you know you can put uh, some commodities on alert so normally in uh, in in common uh, parlance we uh, we put some commodities like scrap tobacco these are the high alert commodities during elections we can change this high uh, alert commodities to watch list to uh, freebies like in uh, karnataka lcd uh, pressure cooker these were, these were very popular freebies so we put those commodities hsn codes into this watch list so whenever an evable is generated carrying these commodities our officers would know so it was very successful especially during um, pre mcc phase before the model code of conduct was announced this was a very effective tool we put that in watch list and whenever pressure cookers movement was known our officers used to catch in and if, if they used to have displays of political parties or photos of the prospective candidates it, it was obviously known so th this time it's a strange thing that election commission is insisting on pre mcc checking also so that time this was very useful but unfortunately after a month uh, people came to know about this tool being used by us so they started declaring wrong commodities so but that one month we we got very good uh, results from this and also there is another uh, modus operandi where you know the party workers will start declaring additional go downs they have to stock this material before the elections so they will start declaring the uh, additional go downs Uh, they will declare it on again on the evable analytics because if they don't declare the correct termination point again we will interrupt them so those go downs would always always have election related material so that also we see so pre mcc phase also our um, uh, you know detection of the freebies and catching them and interrupting them was very good and uh, a total of 280 crores uh, was uh, uh, seized this time and uh, 21 crores of penalty was levied so our gst collection also went quite high if you see our april collection had a growth rate of uh, 37% that was precisely because of this election collection also so a short uh, introduction of uh, eam cell just one minute picture volume Under the guidance and supervision of the Election Commission of India, e-arm cell was created in Commercial Tax Department. It comprises of officers trained in data analytics and risk management. While keeping a vigil on the watchlisted goods on the e-way bill portal, the e-arm cell traced a truck carrying freebies to a destination in Haveri district. This was informed to the officers on field. 
The officers on vigilance followed the truck, which got unloaded in a go-down in residential area of Ranibinur town in Haveri district. Officials raided business and residential premises and seized freebies and articles with photos of prospective candidates. In this case, data analytics led to seizure of Rs 30 lakh worth articles. In another case, the E-arm cell detected suspicious movement of goods from Mobi in Gujarat to a sugar mill in Bagalkot district. This was inspected and freebies like fancy clocks with photos of candidates were seized. The worth of seized articles in this case is around 1.3 crores. So the practice was that E-arm cell will analyze all the e-wable raised and if they find some discrepancy or they find some su suspicious activity, they will inform the e-vigil team, that is the mobile road teams, um, uh, to check it. And in most of the cases, we had a very good hit rate. So, just previous. So, this was some of the um, uh, awareness activity which we did. We had appointed district-wise uh, district nodal officers. So instead of just publishing their mobile numbers, we also try to convey a message uh, that, you know, when you see one of the three activities going on, distribution of freebie, movement of freebie, or just the message that don't uh, your vote is not for sale, we try to use these messages also. And if they find any kind of activity going on, they can uh, contact the respective district nodal officer. Uh, this is uh, another thing, uh, we have also uh, kind of changed our enforcement activity pattern. Earlier, um, um, what we were doing was obviously based, uh, it was still based on data analytics, but it is now more on investigation mode. We went and uh, got our officers trained both from uh, NASIN as well as um, Kerala team is very good at uh, these investigations. They have been doing it for quite some years now. We also trained our uh, teams there and we created something called CTD investigation team and they have integrated investigations with cooperation of uh, all zones across the state and complaint cases by consumers and ta taxpayers are diligently, uh, dil diligently uh, inspected. Whistleblowers and informants are also taken, cases are also taken up on priority and they are also rewarded with our secret service funds. And uh, we have recently published our digital uh, 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 handbook on handling of digital evidences. This is very important because gone, on the, gone, gone are the days of ledgers and registers. Everything is maintained on laptops and computers and it is, becomes very difficult for our officers if they are not trained in handling of the, the digital evidence. It becomes very uh, difficult for our officers to retrieve it and it should have evidential value because when it is produced in court of law, our cases should stand. So we have intensively trained our officers on this. And we have also published a book uh, SOP, and we will share it. We will share it with all the states now. So here, uh, basically, what we do is investigations. Uh, the problem which we found is, if, especially for bogus entities, they do not have fixed place of business. It is very uh, difficult to follow them in uh, Bangalore tra traffic. Multiple persons are involved and uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, they, tracing them becomes a Herculean task. So what our officers in investigation mode, they do, one is they ensure that they, when they call these people, they are not detected using true caller. So they take a spe special different SIM for this purpose, for this investigation. So even in true caller, their identity is not revealed. And they try to meet, meet these people in uh, public places. They summon them to say some coffee, a cafe coffee day or some places and try, try to meet them there so that suspicion is not arousal. And we have also taken up uh, a house search, which we were not uh, doing earlier. So uh, these are some strategies, some uh, uh, source of intelligence and uh, pre-inspection activities which we do to correctly co uh, collect the details of uh, evaders. One important source is book my show. Then they also try to, uh, especially this we did in uh, cases of event management companies. So they give their advertisements in all the websites, in all the platform, electronic platforms. So that we checked. They also, dis our officers disguise themselves and attend these events. And they try to identify the key person, follow them and uh, ask for quotes. So in quotes, they will normally not uh, have GST included. So that is how that's like, it's like test purchase. We come to know that these people are evading GST and they finally strike uh, at a particular date and time. Uh, these are some of the pictures where our officers have disguised and participated in those events. This was a holy celebration done in Bangalore, big event. 
and GST not paid. So our officers also went as participants. They participated in quotation. The GST was not there, and then later they cracked on them. They are following on bikes also. And uh, you know, for once or twice, our officers' identity got revealed, and you know the cases flopped. So now we are very careful and on invest. These cases are having 100% hit rate. If we do proper recce and we collect, we, we spend time on collecting the information. Maybe three to four weeks we spend on collecting proper information, uh, their place of residence, and so that then it becomes quite easy for us to crack the case. So recently. So these are the three stages. One is the pre-investigation stage, where entire evidence gathering uh, is done. Second is uh, the search and seizure is carried out. This year also, I am telling our focus has also shifted from 67.1 to 67.2. 67.1 is just inspection. 67.2 talks about seizure. So that is uh, seizure also is a very, uh, it's a good tool to you know have deterrence of effect on evaders. That is extensively being used in Karnataka from last six seven months. And obviously, there is post search and seizure activity, so that uh, compilation of uh, evidence which is gathered and summons issued to the person in charge. Summons section 70 is also a tool which we have started using recently. It is also yielding very good results. Uh, you know, when we summon them, we see most of the cases on the day of before the day of summon itself, they will make part payment income. So that is also a very important tool which we have started using recently. These are select success stories. In one case, uh, uh, we did arrest recently. Two weeks back, we arrested two people. They were fake entities. They had created 30 fake entities. And uh, there was a suppression of around nine, uh, 524 crores of turnover and 92 crores of tax was evaded. So two, two people got arrested recently. Uh, in that time, we did not have, the, have this arrest powers. But now the GST has empowered us, but we rarely use this tool. It has very good deterrence effect. You know, if one person is arrested, in fact, our state did not know that GST authorities have the powers to arrest also. So once this is done, and we give wide media publicity also to these cases, so that there is a lot of deterrence effect. Second, there was a case where, this is also very common. See, government expenditure is huge, and it is an important source of revenue for us, with 18% GST on works contract. And it, what they do, we have the TDS system. So what the contractors had done, they had taken two GSTN numbers. They got one GSTN number cancelled. So uh, the authority, the government authority was releasing payment and uh, doing t showing the TDS detection against two GSTN number. In one GSTN number, he was discharging his liability and paying us the tax. But whatever amount was towards the other cancelled GSTN, the entire tax was evaded. So that was an important case which we detected in Gulbarga recently. And third is. Uh, we, uh, after having trained our officers, they uh, unearthed the uh, interior designing company's uh, digital evidence in which there was a tax suppression of around 7 crore. So th these three are the recent uh, case studies which I just wanted to touch upon. And uh, another thing, this is obviously deterrence effect through enforcement, but all, all, all of you know the major collection comes from tax compliance and by filing under GSTR 3B. 97% of, of our taxes comes from, come, comes from there. So it is very important that uh, we promote the measures of self-tax compliance also. Towards that, we have regular interaction with trade bodies and practicing communities. We also have regular meeting with our uh, center counterparts. And uh, uh, there are, we have uh, classified the non-filers into top, middle and others. And there is a continuous follow-up to nudge them towards um, you know, filing of the returns. and. Uh, we do sectoral growth analysis, inspection of outlier cases, and uh, non-filer visits, cancellation. This is also done regularly. This is a very important tool. I'm sure all of us, uh, all the states are doing that scrutiny of returns. So here we also have, you know, all the officers not be, be may not be very well versed. Though we have trained all of them, they may not be very comfortable with doing analytics themselves. So we have something called service analysis being at head office itself. It is headed by an IS officer, and under her there are around nine to ten other officers who are very good at data analytics, who may also have background of engineering, and then later they have cleared KPSC and become uh, commercial tax officers. They sit and they detect these cases. They analyze BFA, GST Prime, eWebill Analytics, BoWeb, and field intelligence, intelligence, social media, other departmental data, and they come up with the um, list of uh, GSTN numbers which need to be scrutinized. Like uh, till now, they have detected around 60,000 cases, and then we send it to field formation to verify. So there also hit rate is very good. 50 to 60 percent is the hit rate. So instead of officers, you know, searching in dark, they they do scrutiny 
investigation and audit of these cases which are selected by solving and these are the discrepancies the slightly technical i'll just leave it and cases are shortlisted at head office and then shared with uh, field formation and then this i review every month like what are the cases sent and whether they have uh, inspected it and what is the revenue collected so because we also need to know how good are our analytic tool so if the if the hit rate is not so good so we know not to go by that particular parameter and focus more on other parameters which have yielded good result so in those cases feedback mechanism is very important this is interaction with trade bodies i already spoke about this uh, as we all know gst is slightly complicated subject and uh, so we have made around 25 short documentaries for the traders to and the uh, industry to in, uh, understand what exactly is uh, are the compliance compliance measures which are expected of them and whenever there is something new like e invoice coming up we have uh, webinars interactions physical interactions uh, with them to you know uh, answer to, uh, to their questions whatever they may have and we also try to bring out faqs on them so they have, it's very important that interaction with the trade associations is done at a regular interval and uh, we also have practicing community of cas and kstps um, tax practitioners we have also uh, the section uh, in kgst also provides for hiring uh, special experts because our officers may not be very well versed with reading of the balance sheet or something so we can actually especially in complicated cases of service area we have enlisted around 44 chartered accountants whom officers can um, you know ask uh, can ask them to assist them in some in some complicated cases so these are some of the upcoming initiatives Uh, we want to do this year our focus would be on smart vigilance last year it was on scrutiny and audit this year our focus is going to be on smart vigilance towards that we are trying to bring something called wait in wait in movement that is if a vehicle is going instead of stopping them and checking what weight they are carrying what misclassification or under reporting is there while in movement itself the weight we should uh, know and then using the eway bill analytics we can know which commodity and whether they have declared it correctly and if only if a discrepancy is found they can be stopped so this would be a, also be a hassle free thing or else on national highway we can't line up vehicles uh, stop all the vehicles and line them up this is something which we are coming up with it will also have automatic number plate recognition and then at back end it can be integrated with rfid and other um, you know e, e parivahana uh, and uh, uh, this will also have a reduced burden on officers uh, because instead of randomly stopping the vehicle they can have a focused uh, vigilance this is a second initiative we are planning to uh, planning to set up a large tax payer unit in uh, bangalore uh, for that uh, it will lead to ease of doing business for top 40000 tax payers in which we will have a special efficient officers deployed you know so that uh, so many times especially we have seen uh, amongst the top dealer the intention is not to wait evade, evade but uh, because of lack of information they may have uh, you know uh, unintentionally en ended up erring so to have a better and faster effective tax administration we are planning to set this up thank you